Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for November 1st of 2022. Well, it is titled the uh, NGC 6357, the Lobster Nebula. So what is the Lobster Nebula? Well, it's actually a nebula that is known for forming some of the most massive stars that we can see. Now stars, there is an upper limit to how massive a star can be. And that's simply because the more the more mass we put on a star, the more energy it generates at the center. So essentially more mass compresses more pressure and higher temperatures at the core. And the nuclear reactions don't just increase a little bit, but they increase very drastically with temperature. So a star a little more massive than the sun can produce a lot more energy. A star five or 10 times the mass of the sun produces even more by a lot uh, in terms of energy. And as stars push up towards 100 times the mass of our sun, we reach the theoretical limit as to what stars could how massive a star could be uh, based on current models. So about 100 times the mass of our sun and we see stars within here originally thought to be much larger now found to be parts of binary or even triple systems that are maybe 60 or 70 times the mass of our own sun. That means they're extremely short lived because even though they have many times the mass of our sun, they go through that fuel many times faster. So they may have a much larger tank of fuel, but they are burning it at a prodigious rate and therefore will not last very long. So while our sun at one solar mass may last for a uh, 10 billion years, these stars may only last a million or two years before becoming supernovae. So that we will watch them over the coming years. But of course, if they've just formed, they could be a long ways before they get to that final stage and explode. But we could expect some very interesting sights from the Lobster Nebula over the next few million years. So the studies of these types of stars have helped us to refine our models and to help better understand how massive a star could be. What we don't yet understand is why this nebula happens to form very large stars and other nebulae do not form stars that are large as large. So continuing to study this and helping our models of star formation to better understand the process by which stars form. So that was our picture of the day for November 1st of 2022. It was titled NGC 6357 the Lobster Nebula. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture preview previewed to be sunblock. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.